teacher is super excited to find out something that I thought I already understood is correct. My, my three that I tore abruptly away from this moonflower, the three that got severed quickly from that rainbow string, I, I knew to keep them in here and protect them and I'm feeding them, right? And it's interesting, it's like, okay, on one hand, in my readings, you can use them as something that's decimating my moonflower and I'm not going to just let you run free range over me, right? But I'm protecting you. There's three that I want to protect, three that need to be protected and fed. Well, guess what? They are. <laughs> They're hummingbird hawk moths. <laughs> and I'm raising them. And what was interesting is in the last card that we got today, the last card that we got today, I noticed the Egyptian. Right? I noticed the, this is my, I put it on quiet. Sphinx moth. I was drawn to the pyramids. Check this out. They're called a Jake Wollanock. <laughs> and there he is. Look at the little horn on him, horny devil. So they like tobacco. That's the, that's the, what you gotta stop smoking is the Indian earth tobacco. So there they are. They feed on the tobacco plant. And I was reading about this cause I thought I don't, what, what happens when they run out of their food, right? Are they gonna die? Look at the all seeing eye on their back. Mm-hmm. So I was shown how to, how to care for them and check this out. It's a giant hawk moth. Uh, when you see the, so they show you what they look like. Now this is a different version, a different color. But here this one is in the pupa. The pupa of mine looks more like a leaf. And here it is starting to emerge. Right? It's coming out, struggling its way. Remember you said it's not easy to go through this transformation. Look how dark you were before, right? But you're gonna do it, you're gonna work your way out and you can't be helped, you have to do it on your own. Right, this one's kinda helping. And look at, I gotta dry my wings, I gotta test my wings. Look at that, the wings look really small at the beginning, don't they? To carry that big body. And it's gotta rest, it's, it's, it's a struggle once we come through this transformation. This one's very different because it's got very, very small wings. But check this out, we'll go back to I'm just super excited. I knew that they were special, and I knew that the predator wasn't necessarily, sometimes a predator is a predator, right? Here's where they are, and sometimes they're looked at as predators. I looked at here, this is what it is. Sphinx, is this the one? Hold on, I'm probably bring. so this is what they look like to begin with, right? This is so exciting for me. Here they are feeding. I think this is the one that didn't show, oh, it's coming out. That, so that was coming out of its little egg. And that's what they look like. Okay, so that's, the, that's how they morph from one to another. So we wanna talk about shapeshifters, right? I'm, I'm creating, and check this out. Who's on my dream board? My twin, right? And look, the hummingbird hawk moth. Love note. Hummingbird and a butterfly. When she looked up, it's called a hummingbird hawk moth. They have a hummingbird type of idea because they've got this long little sucker that goes down and takes the sweetness. And then they have wings like a butterfly and they hover like a hummingbird. But they resemble a hawk. So the hummingbird hawk moth. Now what's interesting to me is the hummingbird and the hawk are my two totems. And this is the moth as well. Like a moth to the flame, I was drawn to a woman with another man's name. It's a dangerous road, I just heard. Hmm. I just think that's really cool. So I've gone, I, I truly am a teacher. Now I'm a science teacher. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you though, because I found in here, um, Sphinx moths. I, I asked how long will it take? So this is what it's gonna look like when it grows up. Isn't that pretty? But the thing is about them is that they can, they, they, they go in as they are right now during the fall season and it's going to take until spring before they emerge. So they're strong flyers. Let's see what they, that's what they tell about, tell about them. 
I'll let you look outside as I tell you. So the sphinx or hawk moths are relatively heavy bodied and they're strong flyers, strong pollinators. <laughs> um, they fly at night, which is truthful. Look, there's a hummingbird right then coming to get a drink, right? So you do not see them as much. I've seen them in Sedona in the daylight. Um, that's the hummingbird one, you know, the hummingbird. The sphinx ones are the ones that, that fly at night. But the hummingbird hawk moths, they fly during the day. Ah, okay. So this is, hold on a second. So do I have a sphinx moth or a hummingbird hawk moth? I don't know, we'll have to see.